So let's dive into the starting phase. The starting phase is usually my event designers who are just beginning their journey within the event industry. Welcome. <laughs> so let me switch my screen and share more details about this phase. All right, so let's discuss the starting phase. The starting phase and some qualities that go on with designers who are in this phase, right? They usually have a creative skill. And this is something where they've known they've always been creative. <laughs> they've been creative forever. They just didn't, they tapped into more of the event space. Usually what I hear is that a lot of people get told their family and friends are like, hey, you should turn this into a business. And all of a sudden there's like a light bulb that goes off, right? Which is this next thing. Now they want to start a business. They know other people are doing it in the industry, right? They're watching YouTube videos and they're absorbing all the information of what it takes to get started, even practicing their craft and seeing how how well they can do it. A lot of people in this stage don't, or in this phase, don't know where to begin, right? They're just consuming as much as they can when it comes down to their business and really refining and trying to create this startup business that they don't even know. Usually other attributes is that they're the first entrepreneur in their family, or this is the first time maybe someone close to them, like yourself, is actually taking on this event business seriously. And they know they want something different and they crave something different because the nine to five job is not working. Usually a lot of creative people can't withstand a nine to five job because at the end of the day, you're going to drive yourself crazy if you can't be creative. That's why I, when I was at this stage, I was being a teacher because I thought that was going to be my creative career. And instead, I was suppressed of my creativity. So I had an outlet when it came to my balloon business. And that really took off pretty well because I knew I had something to give to the world. And I genuinely love to enjoy people. So when I got to this stage or this phase, this phase, <laughs> this phase, it really was a game changer because I started to realize this is something I want to do. And this is something I want to tap into. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is sometimes there are things that are stopping a lot of designers in this phase, and it's a lot of fears. And sometimes you're unaware of those fears because each fear is covered by past experiences. One fear that definitely occurs very commonly in this phase is the fear of failing. And a lot of my creative entrepreneurs, specifically event designers and planners in the industry, they have a fear of failing. So they become very um, perfect. They, they want to be perfect. And that perfectionism, one, it does work in your favor as you grow into each phase. But in this phase of your business, it stops you. <laughs> it completely stops you. It keeps you halt. It keeps you going in circles and not really growing into the next phase. So these are the things that I tend to see a lot of event designers go through. Obviously, there is more that goes on during the phase, but this is basically a bird's eye view on what it's like to just get started and be in that starting phase.